Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. We have a very exciting video today. It is all about boobs, boob jobs, boob implants, all the questions that I've gotten asked a bajillion times on Instagram. You wouldn't think that my boobs were like such a large topic on there, but because I do have breast implants and I went from no boobs to the boobs I have now, obviously it's noticeable. Um, when I was on the TV show I was on, I didn't have boobs and then all of a sudden I had boobs. So everyone's like, what the heck? And they look so natural that a lot of people have questions about that too. So I thought I would do a sit down video and answer all of these questions I have here. Um, some of them are questions that people ask because I put a box on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, my link to my Instagram is below. I go over a lot of things on there that I don't go over on YouTube. Let's get started on the video. Okay, so the first question I get asked a lot is what types of boobs do you have? So obviously I have the natural boobs that God gave me, but my implants, I believe, are the brand Cintra. They are a gummy bear implant. I hope I'm not yelling. They're not textured, they're flat, and they are silicone. So the thing about gummy bear implants versus like the regular silicone implant is the gummy bear implant is literally feels like a gummy bear. So when you squeeze it, it's kind of hard, kind of not, and you can literally cut it in half and it won't leak into your body, which technically is supposed to be the more safe option compared to a regular silicone, which if it leaks, it can get into your body and be very toxic. I don't know if that's true. We will go over if I think boob implants are toxic later on in the video. Were you scared to go under? So I was scared to go under a little bit. My mom says I wasn't that worried, which is crazy because I'm normally like the biggest worry war ever. Um, I think I was pretty brave at that time, probably about five, four or five years ago. It was my first time going under and it is very weird if you've never been under before. It's really not that scary because you don't remember anything. Like they say count backwards, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden you wake up and you have boobs. And I wasn't like loopy or anything after. I mean, I definitely was like a little bit in la la land, but I didn't feel, it, it's not like the videos that you see of the people that get their wisdom teeth out. I don't know why it's so different when you go under for a boob job versus like going under for wisdom teeth. I wouldn't say it's scary, but it's definitely weird and like twilight zone-y because all of a sudden you're asleep and then you wake up with boobs. I mean, for some people that's probably <laughs> the best thing that's ever happened to them. For me, it really didn't change my confidence that much, which is so funny. I told Mitchell the other day, my husband, that the main thing that's changed my confidence is literally my hand tied hair extensions. Like I have just felt so much cuter, so much more put together. Okay, someone did ask this on my Instagram. Did you know about breast implant illness when you got them? And what are your thoughts on breast implant illness now? So, I don't think breast implant illness was a big thing on the internet when I got my boobs um, about five years ago. So it wasn't at the forefront of my mind. I knew people had boobs that ruptured, that they had to get redone. I mean, I definitely knew that getting a boob job, things could go wrong, but I wasn't aware of like what breast implant illness was and the symptoms surrounding breast implant illness. My thoughts on it now are that I don't think I have it. A lot of these symptoms that people have, I've always had, like dry eyes, tired sometimes, but I think mine's allergies from where I live because I live in the Central Valley in California and there's dust, almond trees, blah, 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 everything everywhere. But I'm, I do believe people that have it, I mean, only you know your body. There's been times where I knew I was allergic to some food and my doctors said the symptoms you're having have nothing to do with food. Um, there's no way you're allergic to anything and I ended up being super allergic to almonds and diagnosing it myself. Breast implant illness is definitely a real thing. I personally have not experienced it yet. And I say yet because I'm really not sure. And to be quite honest, if it ever happened to me, I would probably feel awful. I mean, if you wanna look more into it, I'd look up videos surrounding breast implant illness. Okay, so what size boobs do you have now? And what size did you have before? Also, what size implant did you get? So right now, I believe I am a 34D. I used to be a 32D, 
but I gained weight. I didn't gain a lot of weight, but 10 pounds even makes your this part bigger. Before, I believe I had a 34B, so I went up two cup sizes. The re I wanted to see, but he told me, well, you already have like a little bit of boob. The, the problem with me is I didn't have boob here. I only had side boob, so I needed them to be full here. My doctor suggested that I go up a little bit bigger, which I now wish I didn't personally. They always say like, oh, you're gonna regret it. You're gonna wish they're bigger. I do not. I actually wish mine were a little bit smaller and I probably should have like listened to myself, like my gut instinct, but it's okay. They're not awful. Just sometimes when I'm like hormonal and my boobs are like big and like I'm on my period, they can seem very like orangutan-y like they like move around like if you've seen an orangutan when they get water like water retention in them they're just like sloshing around everywhere and i feel like if i would have got them smaller i maybe could like wear a bra less which is always what i loved doing before i had implants and i do try to not wear a bra still sometimes i do because it's just uncomfortable like the way that my boobs are bouncing i don't want people looking at it and i don't want people uncomfortable with me either what size implant did you get? The size of my implants are, I just saw my card the other day, 350 cc's of silicone gel. Um, what doctor did your implants? So the doctor that did my implants is out of Santa Clarita, California, and his name is Dr. Heller. He is a board certified plastic surgeon, which is very important. I have heard nightmares stories from other people, including people in Southern California that have gotten their boobs done by somebody else. So it's always a good idea to research. I actually went to multiple surgeons, then made my decision on which one I believed could give me what I want and also which one I felt was most trustworthy, the smartest, like I trusted my gut instinct. And this doctor was so professional. He was young, so I felt like he knew newer techniques compared to the old techniques. He wasn't into like the fake looking boobs. He wanted to make boobs very natural. And I just felt like our idea of like great boobs aligned. And we were able to work together and create honestly very good looking boobs. A lot of people don't know that I have fake boobs until I tell them. <sighs> Maybe some people want their boobs to look but I feel like I don't like I wanted my people to be like how does she have great boobs but now I don't even want people to look at my boobs so five years can really do a doozy to you <laughs> I feel so old would you recommend your doctor to someone else and did you have any issues with your implants I did not have any issues with my implants I still have not they dropped perfectly they did exactly what he said they were gonna do and I would definitely recommend him if you're going for a natural boob look so it just depends on what you want to do. I would recommend him to anyone that wants gorgeous boobs, but not super fake ones that are look pushed up. Do you like the way your boob job turned out? I do like the way my boob job turned out. I, I think I said earlier in the video, I do wish I would have gone a tad bit smaller. I'm just not into the big boobs anymore because it's hard for me to sleep and like lay on them. The other reason is because I don't really want to wear a bra. Just depends on your preference. If you're that type of girl that always wears a bra and always wants to wear a bra and can't see yourself ever going anywhere without a bra, these type of boob implants would probably be for you. Um, how old were you when you got a boob job? I was 22 and a half. I got them. You cannot get silicone gel implants until you're 22. So that's why I waited. Um, and I'm not sure if that's like concerning to me now, like what's wrong, what's so bad about them that you have to like wait to get them. It's just a conspiracy I have that <sighs> I'm trying to work through. <laughs> How much did your boob job cost? And obviously all boob job costs are different. Um, I had gone to one guy that was gonna be 5,500, but I didn't like his work, so I mean, why would I pay even $2 for work that I don't want? Mine were about 7,500 total. So I had to pay for like some blood work. Um, I believe you have to pay for like a clearance by a doctor and that is not covered by insurance because insurance doesn't cover cosmetic procedures, at least in my case. 
Total, I think they were 7,000 and then I had to spend about 500 on other things. How long did it take you to recover from your boob job and was it a hard recovery? I always say it wasn't a hard recovery, but my mom was the one that helped me and she's like, what are you talking about? Like you were a disaster, you were a nightmare. The only thing I remember that was hard about recovering was my arm hurt so bad because I had it like propped up because I didn't, I felt scared. It's weird when you go from no boobs to boobs. I was like scared to move my arms. So like I kept my arms in like the same position for a very long time and it made me get like a charley horse. That was the hands down worst part. So I had to keep taking the muscle relaxers that he had given me and those helped a lot too. But overall, oh, how long did it take me to recover? I would say two weeks. I did gain a lot of, of weight, which sucks because I lost a lot of weight before going under. Um, I would say I probably gained like 15 pounds. I kept eating ice cream over and over and over and over again. My camera actually ended up dying, so I had to wait like an hour. There's only a couple more questions and then I'll probably make another video because the last question on here, the last two questions on here are hard for me to answer in this video. The video would probably be 30 minutes long if so. I'm trying to keep it down to a normal amount. Would I recommend getting a boob job to a friend? That's a question I'm gonna have to answer in another video and the other question I'm gonna have to answer in another video is have you considered getting them removed? And I will probably make this video sometime soon, just my knowledge on breast implants and how I'm going to go about having my boob implants in the future and what I'm gonna do. The last question though that I've gotten a lot is what type of incision do I have? And did I go over or under the muscle? So I went under the muscle, it makes them, especially if you have breast tissue like I already did, it it pushes your breast tissue you already have forward instead of pushing it behind so it makes your boobs look more real so it's just preference based they have less of a chance of moving in the socket when they're under the muscle I believe that's what it is the type of incision I have is under the boob I know some people have gotten it on their armpit but then you can't raise your arms so and the scar is so minimal and my boobs dropped the way they were supposed to so you can't even see the scar. I am lucky I'm not a scarer. My scars don't keloid or anything like that. So it's scarred very flat. Um, I did use some scar cream that was like $100 that they recommended at the surgeon's office, but I think I only used it for like two months, maybe less. And I was like, eh, I'm kind of over this. That concludes this video about boobs. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment down below and I will get back to as many questions as possible. And like I said, follow up on my boob series because I probably will be making another video or two explaining a few more things about boob implants and just the knowledge that I have now with boob implants. But this video was specifically geared around my boob implants. So that's about it. I will talk to you guys soon. Mwah. Goodbye.